Welcome to Immersive Railroading 1.5.0. This release has some of our most ambitious track changes yet. For this release, we have completely re-implemented the track system and preserved, in most cases, backwards compatibility with existing worlds. And there goes a cow. Never work with animals in uh, TV or video. Anyways... <laughs> um, so, I've set up an example track here, which the cows are currently enjoying, uh, which goes across this switch, which I have to flip, because I forgot to do that, and it goes around and comes back. This was all placed with only a few track segments in the space of uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Um, so we've got a good amount of steam pressure here, and we are going to hit the horn a few times, and we're off. There goes the cow. <laughs> so as you can see in this track, give it a little bit more throttle to get up this hill. This is a curved slope, but not just a normal curved slope. It's curved in multiple directions, and it's still butter smooth. Um, going a little bit too fast around this corner, but again, we haven't implemented derailment physics. All of these pieces of track are custom curves, and what a custom curve is is it's a bezier curve. Uh, for those of you who are familiar, or a cubic curve. And this gets into some really annoying math that uh, I've just managed to figure out myself. It's about at the limit of my knowledge, um, or ability to figure out. Um, but overall, it works really, really well. It allows you to define a path... Of, of, uh, it allows you to define a smooth path between two points. Um, and that's what we've done for all of this track. So I've set up a couple examples uh, on this little... Uh, peninsula, I guess it's Peninsula, over there. Uh, so we can head over there next. There we go. There we go. So, here are some track pieces that should look familiar to uh, familiar to those who've used immersive railroading before. This is a straight track. I've placed them in blueprint mode, and when I right-click on them with a golden spike and come to another point and right-click, it will bring the piece of track off in that direction that particular distance. So this, if you're trying to build a bridge, let's, let's say we want to build a really long bridge all the way over here. In previous versions, you'd have to build that whole bridge and then come back over here and kind of guesstimate, saying, I, th I think it's at the island, and go back, fly back and forth to make sure you got it the exact distance you want. We can see by right-clicking with the golden spike, we've set the distance we want to go. So we're going to, because it's a bridge, we'll set it to be, let's do a brick bridge, just for fun. Oop. Yeah, so that should, yep, it updated. You can see the red has gone away. That means it will place uh, what's supposed to go under the track. And uh, this, yeah, that should work. <coughs> Excuse me. Come back over here and click to place. And now we have a nice even bridge going all the way across. The next thing is the turns. This is a simple 22.5 degree turn. That's one quarter of a full 90 degree turn. And we can set that to come over here. And let's say, let's even have it overlap a little bit. Um, come back over here. And that's not going to work because there's an overlap problem there. Overlapping track is mostly, <coughs> excuse me, mostly supported. There's still some kinks that need to be worked out of the code. Um, it shouldn't cause any world breaking issues, but you may have some odd things here and there where track won't exactly be happy placing across other track. Um, this over here is one of the things I'm most happy with with the new version. It's one of the things I'm most proud of. If I come over here and right click on this piece, this looks like a, just a straight piece of track. I come over here and I right click, it extends just like a straight piece of track. But if I come over, it starts bending the track to the point that I'm looking for. I can even rotate how I'm facing and it will change how it's placing this peak. It tries to draw as smooth of a line between these two points as it possibly can. 
this was a <laughs> it is a monumental amount of work. I actually rewrote the entire track system just to support this. Um, but overall, it's actually works pretty darn well. And if we wanted to, let's say we want to make a roller coaster, just for fun. And again, this doesn't necessarily mean that your, tra that your train will actually make it up this. Um, we will set the rail bed to, oh, I don't know, set it to gravel, and set the fill to, let's just set it to dirt at this point. So, and I have to, this is still red here because it's going to be replacing this block, so we just break that, and that should go away. And do that, and now we've got a slope. And I could go grab, let's just grab a freight car, place it on there, and it'll go right down the slope, and off the track. Derailment physics still aren't really implemented at this point, um, but again, it's Minecraft. So here we have a blueprint of a switch. So we can set this to like 30 or 12 or however large we want the switch to be. In this case, what you would think is if you hit this and then extended it over here, it would do the same thing as this turn. It would just extend the length of the turn. That's not, <coughs> excuse me, that's not the case. What's happening is it's replacing, it, it's changing from just a standard curve to a custom curve, which I think is pretty cool. This allows you to do some pretty neat stuff. Um, before doing any sort of parallel switches took a huge amount of time and effort. Um, now it's as simple as clicking a few times. And we can place, and it's functional. The next piece over here, I've already placed down some of these blueprints, and you can see these over here are up in the air. This doesn't exactly line up in the middle, so we'll need to adjust that in a sec. But for uh, smaller than standard gauges, you will wa we'll want to uh, overlay the track ends just a little bit um, so that they uh, fit properly. Tracks are drawn from the center out, at least the in, in, internal to the code. Um, that way, when you're rotating like this, you're rotating about one point. Um, and that's, that's, I don't want to get too deep into exactly why that happens, but if you do want to place a blueprint over an existing track, it will just place it one block higher. And so we can lock onto that. Click. Whoops, I'm facing the wrong way. Let's go to that block. Come here. Go to here, here to here, and here to here. For small gauges, this is still a little bit buggy. I'm not actually going to show this functioning because it will work in some orientations and not others. This is very close together, and it may work in a few cases, but not all at this point. There will be future updates to the track following code that will make something like this work every time. Uh, what I would recommend for now is place these just a little bit further apart, one or two blocks, and there's a much higher chance that that will actually work as expected. Um, let's see. This also goes to show that tracks can be placed over other tracks in almost any or orientation. In addition, you can also place tracks across other gauges. Um, so this will act as a Minecraft gauge track, and this will act as a standard gauge track. Um, and that, I think, works in almost all cases. Um, we can do, let's let's do something fun. We haven't, this is something that people like to do a lot in, or have been asking for a lot. Let's make this a nice long curve. Let's do, let's come over here. Let's make that a little bit smaller. That looks pretty good. Oop, I'm off the end there. Whoops. Okay. And we'll place down. This will get a little bit tricky, but we can do this. And let's see if we want to go all the way over here. Place that down. This we can lock to here. Lock that in and put this piece. Oop, I should have made that one longer. There we go. And that should function as a standard crossing. No additional changes necessary. 
And there we go. This is Immersive Railroading 1.5.0. I hope you all enjoy it. And if you find any bugs uh, in the track placement system or any other pieces, feel free to come hop on the Discord. That's where I hang out most of most of the time. Uh, there's a bunch of people on there who will help you with any issues you encounter. Um, there's also you can leave comments on this video or uh, on the Minecraft CurseForge CurseForge page. Um, I think that's all that uh, I'd like to show you. There will be some additional stuff in the release notes, which you, you should read. Those are attached to every single uh, jar that gets posted uh, on CurseForge and also on GitHub. Um, I hope you all enjoy. I will see you with the next release.